This is called a system of equations because you have two variables and two equations. This leads into a whole branch of mathematics that's very important, but for now we're going to stick to some of the lighter methods for solving it, and I'll show two of them in this video. One method, which I kind of like, is to write your system of equations sort of like this in such a way that something cancels out something else if you add them up together. Now I'm going to take this second equation right here, and I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 6. So I get 6x plus 6y equals what 6 times negative 2? That's negative 12. Okay, and maybe you can see why I'm doing it this way. It's so that when I add them up like this, I get 9x, the y's cancel out. 9x equals z minus 12. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Now I can turn this into x equals z over 9 minus 12 over 9. And you can simplify that if you want. But that basically gives me my answer that I need right here. So that's a neat example of adding equations together to cancel out a term. Usually you have to modify one of the equations before it's going to work. Let me show you another method of solving this. Most people know this one too. I'm going to say from that second equation, I'm going to rearrange it. I start with x plus y equals negative 2. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want to know what y equals. y equals negative 2 minus x. And now I'm going to stick that back into the first equation. The first equation was 3x minus 6y, but instead of y, I'm going to write negative 2 minus x. And then the result was z. Okay, so see, I stuck that right here. And then we just distribute the minus 6, and I get 3x, let's see, plus 12, uh, plus 6x equals z, and the result of that is 9x plus 12 equals z. The result of that, you notice this is familiar. Once we do a little more algebra, equals uh, z over 9 minus 12 over 9. Exactly the same as we got before. That should not be surprising because these are two perfectly good methods of solving the system of equations. Either one will work. I will point out that sometimes this thing up here, sometimes it's a little hard to see how you can add things together to cancel stuff out. That does take a little bit of practice. This down here is called substitution. Sometimes the algebra takes a little longer, but the good news is it's usually more bulletproof. It's usually going to work if you just grind through it. So either of those is going to give you your answer. Now I'm going to point out this is a variable x in terms of z. We can't actually know what x is as a number because, well, there's more variables than we have equations. I mentioned earlier that this was two variables, two equations. I miscounted. We've actually got three variables. One, two, three. So the answer for this cannot be a number like 10, right? We're going to have to express the answer in terms of something that we don't know, such as z.